Well, this is the second video, um, seeing as the first one decided to record without any sound. Um, this is the stoker mechanism that I've rebuilt. Um, I had a test fire earlier today down at work, but you know, as things go, I didn't have my camera with me. So, this will have to do. Um, I re rebuilt it to get rid of a couple of things that just annoyed the crap out of me with the old one. The old one worked fine, but there were just a couple of things that annoyed me. It made an annoying squeaking noise when it um, was working at full throw, um, and it was dropping a lot of dust out the back, and I didn't have any way to catch that. Um, so it's all now sliding on plastic bushes, as can be seen there. Um, so that is nice and quiet. Um, the grumbling that it's making at the moment, it doesn't make us, it's with coal in it. As soon as you put coal in it, it shuts up. Um, it's a lot heavier duty than the one I had before. Um, the first one I made uh, was made out of quite light material, uh, following the patterns of what I'd seen on the ones in, on the internet. Um, and, well, let's put it this way, I work on the front end of a bulldozer, you know, repairing, welding, things like that, and the other one, it just felt tinny, but at the time I didn't have the, the didn't I didn't have the time or the materials on hand to do it how I wanted, um, so this one's built a lot heavier duty, like this piece here is a um, one and three quarter by five eight, I can't really see that, but five eight solid bar. I milled out, uh, milled the slot in it. Um, these bars here are half inch. Um, there, as is that one there. Um, and the frame for the motor is 25 mil um, heavy wall, high tensile box section. Um, it's just stuff that I've. You know, put away to, to do this as I've sort of gone, oh that would be handy. Um, the block there is uh, two pieces of 5.8 um, plate um, that are welded together at, f at the rear and at the front. Um, behind this they're welded, it's welded in, in there. Um, and then I machined it off square so that we've got a nice square pusher block which is you know, an inch and a quarter high um, which gives me a nice push thing um, I got a little, bit, a little bit enthusiastic with the the uh, setting about blocks um, and as you can see it has a lot more throw than I've got the blocks for and the reason is I made a block um, that fitted that gap entirely when it's at full throw and it promptly pushed my fire off the front of the um, burn plate um, not just like pushing live coals over the edge it pushed the entire fire over the edge and pushed itself out and put itself out which while it was hilarious to watch wasn't really what I was after um, so I've got a series of blocks that's full fire three quarter half and that's a quarter and then the way it's set at the moment it's it, it set at idle um, which will just give me a little bit of a, a sort of a red line along the back of the fire along the, the um, first line of air holes but won't have any flames or anything um, that one there quarter gives me about two inches of flame um, that gives me about six inches that gives me sort of probably about 10 inches to 12 inches. The d interestingly, between the three quarter and the full, there's very little change in the height of the flames, but there's a lot more fire. It's a lot longer sort of down here, but your flames seem to be about the same height, so that works all right. Um, motor's a mal the same motor I had, it's a Mallor. A one RPM con permanent duty um, motor. Um, about the only thing of the old unit I've actually kept <laughs> was was the motor mount itself. Um, 
is it? You know, I could cut that off and reuse it, but everything else, basically the entire mechanism is from sort of you know, here back. I redid. Um, I've got this, the uh, the hopper and, and everything over here. That's all right. I didn't need to do anything to that. Um, stove sitting outside. There's the fans I've got driving through the the air jacket at the back. Um, they drive in through or push in through those holes there, and then it comes up here along the top and out these holes at the front. Um, it should put out a lot more heat. Well, I've got a lot more heat out of the fire. Um, whether I'll actually be able to um, extract that out of the stove, I don't know. But we'll find that one out the hard way, one way or the other. Um, yeah, it works all right. And like I said, I had a test fire earlier, or down at work, and um, that worked fine. Oh, there's me tray for um, putting under the under the back of the slide um, to catch any fines that fall out the back of the slide because that was something with the old setup that really annoyed the crud out of me. I didn't have any way of catching them, and um, a little bit of fines go a long way on the feet of a cat. Not to mention it just looked ugly on the on the hearth because the stoker unit sticking out the side of the stove is if you've seen any other the older videos um, it's not round the back like a lot of stokers are um, but yeah well that's all see ya